Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Jessie and today I'm going to be talking about A Worthy Opponent by Katie Robert. Now, if you're new here, I talk a lot about Disney books and books based around Disney. I have done this with the other two subsequent books in this series, and so I thought I would give you guys kind of an in-depth review, my thoughts about A Worthy Opponent by Katie Robert. This is the third in her Wicked Villain series, where Katie Robert kind of takes the villain and the, I don't want to say heroine or hero, and basically makes them a couple. In A Worthy Opponent, we follow Tink, who we've seen in the first two books, but let me stress this, you do not have to read these in order. So if you are gravitating towards a certain couple or a certain book, please feel free to read them, not really in order. Katie Robert does a fantastic job of kind of introducing these characters where you don't feel like you have you basically focus on the main group main couple so in this one we follow tink who like i said we've seen in the previous two books and tink is coming up at the end of her contract that she has made with hades she works at the club she kind of does everything at the club she also has this side gig where she makes clothes for a lot of people we saw her do that in the first one and then she also is in a lot of scenes with other people from the club she is very well loved in the club and people love to watch her and love to have her be a submissive and she is terrified to leave the club because when she originally made this deal with Hades, she was getting away from an abusive relationship, which was with Peter. And Hook, who is a member of the club, like many people are in this, in Carver City, and Hook really, really wants Tink. He's always wanted Tink. He was Peter's right-hand man until he overtook Peter and basically took over Peter's territory. He saw how Peter treated Tink and he just couldn't stand by anymore. So before Tink leaves the Underworld Club, Hook makes an offer to her and says, I will protect you if you marry me and help me settle the unrest that is in the territory. And Tink says, no, I'm fine. I haven't seen Peter. He doesn't know where I am and I can take care of myself. Immediately, the first day that she leaves the underworld, Peter finds her within like 20 minutes. And Hercules is right there saying, nope, let's take you somewhere else. Ultimately, she is. she meets up with Hook and says, yes, I will marry you and I will do all this stuff to help the territory and help you, but it's gonna basically be a business deal. We all know that's not gonna stay a business deal. It doesn't stay a business deal very long because one of Hook's conditions is that Tink has to be in his bed. This ends up being such a sweet story. I tabbed a couple of lines that I thought were really, really great. The one thing that I wish Katie Robert did a little bit better was the third act resolution. I wish we got a little bit more. It just seems like everything wraps up very, very quickly and then we're done and everybody's happy. I wish that we could flesh that out a little bit more. You see Peter a little bit and you don't really get a good look at what he did to Tink. He basically was verbally and physically abusive to her, so please check that these out for trigger warnings. That is definitely something that you don't see, but Tink definitely does deal with. She has flashbacks and she deals with whenever she sees Peter or she thinks about it or her past and especially when she is with Hook 
certain things and people like trigger memories for her and I want everybody to be safe when they're reading this book because I really really enjoyed it I gave it four stars I like I said I would highly recommend to anybody who loves Disney especially if you love any of the kind of different tales of Peter Pan I enjoyed this one a lot more than I enjoyed Straight On Till Morning by Liz Braswell but this one is definitely an adult book don't let it fool you it is an adult book we do get new characters and we kind of, Katie Robert kind of sets up the third book or not the third book the fourth book which follows the Beast and Gaston and I want to say Belle but she definitely sets each subsequent book up from the one that you're reading what else can I say about this book I always feel like I don't give you guys enough information on these books they are really really good and if you are an adult and you want to read them and you like Disney like I said in previous videos this one really has nothing to do with Disney the only thing that is even Disney-esque is the names. Katie Robert does such a great job of molding these characters to what she wants but still kind of staying true to the original molds of these Disney characters. Like Peter Pan is the bad guy obviously in this one. We don't want to see that but we do and Hook is you know is he misunderstood? Is he a bad guy? We don't know. This is definitely a morally gray series. There is no good, there is no bad. They're all like morally gray and just trying to survive in this city. And I think that's what's great because if you love those morally gray characters, you will you definitely should pick up this series. I absolutely love Jafar and Jasmine. They are probably my favorites right now. And then it's Tink and Hook. I'm not a huge fan of Hades, Hercules, and Megara, but to each their own. It's a great thruple. They're thriving. But that is what it is. Please think about picking this one up. I highly recommend this series. Like I said, if you want to read this one on its own, go right ahead. I think you can you'll be okay just reading this one on its own if you just want to read this one. That's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want to follow me on any other platforms everything is down in the description box down below and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.